Many surveys have shown that a significant number of Americans have never met a Muslim in their life. Studies also show that Americans with a higher familiarity with Islam and Muslims are less likely to have misconceptions about Islam and are sensitive about issues of Muslims. Every year, the Islamic Association of Raleigh organizes an open house where general community members get a chance to attend the mosque and interact with Muslim community members. The statistics show that most Americans have never met a Muslim, and that's the biggest barrier to understanding, is when you haven't you have no experience with someone, then you have fear, you have confusion, and this is our opportunity to change that dynamic, to get to know one another so that we can break down those barriers of fear. We are inviting the neighbors with whom we would like to have good relations, very simply good relations. We are a place open all, all day, every day, and because of the fear that people have of the mosques in the area or wherever, we would yearly invite them. This year, the open house was coordinated between the area mosques. These mosques had specific informational sessions and presentations for attendees. Uh, the open house actually is a, an opportunity for our non-Muslim neighbors, friends, classmates, colleagues to come and to get to know us. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Oh people, we created you from male and female um, and from nations and tribes so that you get to know each other and to learn about each other. So the, the main point uh, and the main purpose of this uh, open house is really to invite people to know us and to, to, to get familiar with us. Alhamdulillah, we had some very good people um, throughout the evening, throughout the afternoon they were there. And our host uh, took them around, they showed the masjid. And we achieved our goals of displaying the beautiful part of Islam they can see. The experience that we had inviting the uh, public to our open house was to uh, let our to let the people who were not Muslims know that we are one and the same, that we're all human beings. We may have different uh, beliefs, but but we are. Their, their fellow human beings, and we share the same interests, the same values in relationship to our families, in relationship to want to um, see our lives in, in, in this country improve. And uh, that was the main focus. The things that I heard from the guests at the Dawa event that they said were the best was obviously the food. Our sisters were very active in you know, preparing a very rich Middle Eastern, Pakistani, Indo, Pakistani diet, you know, where we had food from all over the world and people were very impressed with that. Yeah, actually some people came after that and actually some people came to me personally and they took me information and actually some people, they sent me some, you know, emails saying that they want to learn more about Islam. The open house was attended by community members who were eager to learn about Islam and Muslims. The open house also offered the ability to witness similarities between Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. Free copies of the Quran were offered to attendees. The attendees also had an opportunity to witness Muslim prayer and recitation of the Quran. Yes, events like the Muslim open house are extremely important. They're, our belief at United NC is when people can put a face beside a label like Muslim or immigrant, that they, they then have a much more humane view and they stop viewing people with suspicion. And so these kinds of events show people that, you know, the mosque isn't some kind of closed place where there are secret things going on, that the people here are, are a lot like them and that they're friendly and, and kind. I'd never been to the mosque before and uh, I've wanted to do it over the last several years when you've had the open house but haven't had the, the uh, opportunity. So it's really a great opportunity for me to come and to find out more about Islam. And actually I think for me the most important thing just to meet some uh, other people, to meet some other Muslims and, and hopefully uh, to extend and have better relations between our two faiths. I wanted to learn a lot more about um, Islam because of the negative connotation we hear from the press, I thought it was excellent for me to be here. I've learned a lot, and now I have a different perception of what it's all about. Any time that you can open up your doors to 
the world and have, have an opportunity to learn and ask questions like we had today, I think is really invaluable. Uh, it's, it's all about learning uh, different cultures, uh, unraveling the mysteries that are out there, and I have, certainly have a better appreciation now for the Islamic uh, Center. Uh, it was very hospitable and a very gracious and gentle people. Dr. William Bingham, who served as president of the Triangle Interfaith Alliance, offered his feedback of the open house. Uh, I was particularly struck today, I would say, by the, uh, the imam's responses to questions and his descriptions of, of Islam here. I don't know his name, but uh, he, was, he was very, very warm and very responsive and not defensive at all in terms of any questions that were put to him. I found that the people, as Bill said earlier, particularly the youth, were very gracious and very kind. And I also found that there was people who came and spoke to us that made us feel like we were really welcome here and that they were glad that we had come to try to be a part of their community. The open house also has an important function in acquainting Muslims with their neighbors and interacting with community members of varied cultural and religious backgrounds. One of the greatest things that I've discovered is, you know, people, uh, you know, in the Muslim world, we usually, you know, hear a lot about, oh, people are afraid of us. And so it's a positive experience for us to meet so many people who come who are interested. So it's, it's a good feeling for us as well, not just as them. So I see that there's a, definitely a benefit on both sides. We hope that such open house events would serve the cause of mutual understanding and peaceful coexistence. You can learn more at mymuslimneighbor.org.